I'm going to do, and y'all can join me because this is a, another idea I had because I, I like the idea of having some um, thread wrap over marbling, but at the same time, I don't want to cover up the pretty marbling. So what I'm going to do is a ghost wrap over marbling where you can kind of see the thread work, but it still allows some of the color of the marbling underneath to come through. And I'm doing it with um, nylon thread. So the first step is to get some color down. So I'll be back and the colors I'm gonna use this time is magenta, tropical blue, cute coral, and Caribbean Kiss, or Caribbean Kiss. Ever hear y'all want to say it? Everybody says it a little different. But I'm country, so I'm probably saying it wrong. But anyway, these are all pigments by Nuno's Pigments. And you can kind of see the theme I'm going here. I guess I'm going for some kind of, uh, I don't know, corally sea type sort of thing. I don't know. We'll see. So, let's see how this goes. Be back in a little bit. All right. I'm back. So, what I've done so far is I put a light, well, kind of a little bit of a heavier coat. Y'all got to excuse them. It's raining outside. I'm in a metal building, a metal building and it you can just like really hear it but anyway i put not a real light coat and not a real heavy coat but in this section here i put me some um epoxy and i want it to move as much as possible because i'm just not doing any particular pattern I'm just going to kind of swirl this around put some pretty colors down and I don't know, I kind of wanted to do some swirls and just make it pretty. I don't know. Like I said, not, not any particular pattern, but knowing me, I'll go along and then say, well, you know, I want to do some little something, but probably not, but I'm just going to put these colors down if I can do it pretty quick then I'll keep y'all with me so maybe you won't get too bored but that was the tropical blue here's the Caribbean kiss Ooh, that's kind of sharp. I just want to kind of let y'all watch me put these colors down. I'm not gonna be talking a whole lot because I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. But this next one right here is the cute coral. I think these are gonna pop against these other two colors. What's really going to pop is the next one I put up, which is going to be the um, magenta. But 
That's one of the reasons I keep a, a napkin in my hand so I can constantly, oops, didn't really want to put that there. Let's put some in the middle of this big old blob of blue. Now what I do is I kind of put some down, then I go back, and then I look, and then I add some more, and I'm like going back and forth and back and forth. Now here's the next color is the magenta. Oh, there you go. Now that's pretty. Definitely pretty. I should have mixed some more of this. sorry I had to turn off the uh, camera because the rain is just not let up and it was just too noisy on this metal roof so I just wanted to come back real quick and uh, finish putting in the rest of the colors and another little thing that I may have mentioned before in some of my other videos if you have your uh, your rod turning one direction and you put the color on if you kind of want to change the direction of the marbling just a little bit to get a little different effect or get it to move different just switch your uh wrapper back off i mean the way mine works is all i have to do is switch it off and when i turn it back on it's going the other direction so if you have it turn in one direction say clockwise and then you turn it off and then you turn it back on and it's going counterclockwise then you're going to get a different effect in your marbling which is kind of cool and always remember if it's thinner uh your pigment's going to move more and if you want to have more control of the color your well more control of your pigments and which way they go and how much they move if you just let it sit a little bit and thicken up a little bit then you can get a different effect that way but we're going to let this turn finish doing what it's going to do and that's what i always say is so cool about marbling is you never know what you're going to end up with and you have some really cool surprises a lot of times because it's unique none of them are ever ever the same no matter how hard you try if you come across a pattern you're thinking, oh, this is really cool. I gotta try to redo it again. <laughs> you can't. I'm sorry. I've tried. But um, we're gonna let this finish. And probably tomorrow, after it gets all dry and set, then I'm gonna put my um, ghost wrap on top of it. Show you what it looks like before I put the epoxy on top of it. Because I mean, basically the um, the thread is gonna disappear. Because that's what happens with nylon. If you don't use color preserver it'll disappear but it'll, it'll be a it'll faintly be there you can still see it but you'll see so let's let this go and next step is the wrap okay so i just laid some simple little chevrons down with some nylon thread so when i put the epoxy over this it should pretty much disappear or become see-through and the colors I used was Wildberry which is the blue one Cool Mint which is the green one and Neon Pink which is the pink one so then I trimmed it out in those were nylon but I trimmed the ends and I did just a real simple little thing with the um, the Wildberry Color Fast because I didn't want it to be see-through. And I didn't really want to cover up my uh, marbling too much because it's pretty cool. 
So once I get the um, epoxy over the top of it, I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I put the epoxy. And then you can see what it looks like after I put the epoxy in. Like I said, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll disappear as much as I'm hoping it'll disappear. But you know how best laid plans are. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. Alright, now this is only one coat. It's all dry and everything. It's set up. I let it set for like a day or so. It definitely needs another coat or two. But this gives you a general idea and you can kind of see how the marbling shows through the nylon. That's why you don't use the color preserver with a nylon thread. And there's all sorts of cool things you can do with a nylon thread. For instance, a few years ago, my husband did a white rod and he put silver guides on it and he used white nylon thread and when he put the epoxy on it, the thread totally disappeared. And it looked just like you glued the, the guide onto the rod blank. It, it was really sharp. But he had skulls on the real seat and everything so he kind of wanted it to make it look like a skeleton sort of thing. But anyway, Nylon thread, I mean, without CP, there's, you can just let your mind wander and just come up with some cool stuff. But this was my plan with this one. I didn't use the nylon on the uh, end wraps. I just used plain color fast. But um, I, I like the way it turned out. I'm, I'm not one to cover up my marbling. So, but every once in a while, you kind of want to accent it throw something over the top of it just to, I don't know, something different. But I hope this uh, video was helpful to y'all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And again, thank you so much for uh, watching our channel and watching our tutorials. You guys have a great day. Tight lines. And y'all don't forget to subscribe because I'm sure I'm going to be doing some more. Y'all take care.